Uh, well, time to start the video, the, the, the daily vlog for Monday. Uh, the, uh, for the for the 27th, I think it is. I can't remember. I think it's the 27th. I'm still in pain. And this is what a sick day looks like. So I'm, I'm vlogging even though I'm sick. Even though I'm still in pain. Uh, I am vlogging and it's just what's going to happen is that uh, uh, when the vlogs are posted are going to be behind. It, this increases the the, the, uh, the distance from the date of uh, filming or, or vlogging and the date it's posted. But the thing is at least, it, you know, daily vlogging is happening so that's that's one benefit and the tween won't hear this is this is where good it, 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 i'm trying to increase the amount of food i'm intaking it's basically soda soda crackers and uh ginger ale and now some water and we'll see what happens after that but i'm gonna cut it short here because i'm not feeling well and i have to go back to the bathroom Well, if I want to vlog a sick day because I'm back from the bathroom, um, the t-shirt that I was wearing, the shirt that I was wearing, caused the reaction, the temperature reaction. Uh, that caught, that triggers you, it makes you sick. Because it, basically what happens is that a lot of our, uh, our responses in the body are temperature sensitive. There's a, a range where it's too hot and a range where it's too cold. And a sudden shift in temperature, either direction, causes a uh, a so-called a, a, a response, either coming up this way or out, going out that way. And mine is not coming up this way, not coming up through the mouth, but it's not coming up, but being expelled at a uh, significantly faster rate than was than it should have should be. That's what uh, that's what diarrhea is. It's an all-out. It's an all-out scenario where uh, the body feels that there's something in there that shouldn't shouldn't be there, and it opens up the floodgates and everything goes out of the system. Uh, that it, regarding even the good stuff, it does. The, it, the, 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 that response from the body is a, a response that says, "All out, everybody out." And during food poisoning, that's what happens, is, is that, it, is that it, 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 it is, the body is trying to expel as much of the poison, as much of the toxin, and there's typically a bacteria or something like that that does that, as it possibly can. And so a temperature shift, and that's what the shirt does, the, t the shirt causes a temperature, temperature shift uh, and, a, and a more rapid one that I can adjust to. And it triggers, well, what you saw, the immediate response, I had to go to the bathroom. I had just put the shirt on. During this whole time now, I have to be without the shirt uh, just to regulate the temperature in my body so things stay stabilized. More often not, I'm sleeping. Right now, I'm up. I'm going to finish having a glass of water. I had, I had my small meal of uh, soda crackers and ginger ale. And now I'm having my glass of water, and then I'm going back to bed. This is a sick day. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm watching cartoons. And the thing is, because the, the couch in back is more relaxed in, in the back research desk, which is now fixed and ready to go, it's now a research desk. Uh, I need to be sitting up more. In, in the couch, you slouch. You, you, you're more... In here, I need to be sitting up more to allow things to, to, to settle before I go back to bed. So it's, it's, it's pretty much like a like a standard school sick day. Sick day. This is how you do a uh, sick day uh, when you're doing homeschooling. So. Well, on a sick day now is as good a time as any to vlog. It's about. Uh, 11.40 in the evening. Uh, I've been basically taking care of myself all day. 
is kind of interesting to sort of see how the body functions, particularly from a medical, medical research perspective. Uh, when you're trying, as a cyberneticist, when you're trying to recreate a model of the human being, this includes the physiology and the mechanisms of the human being itself, the physical mechanisms, in addition to the what we'll call behavioral aspects. And this is part of the, uh, the cybernetic project that is uh, Cyborg Elf. And this is how we get here, life, our life as Cyborg Elf, because I've been doing this uh, Cyborg Elf now for about six years. I've been studying cybernetics for longer than that, uh, but it says as six years moves around, it's time for, uh, in terms of the uh, Cyborg Elf, it's time to uh, 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 do our li do the vlog as I li our life as uh, Cyborg Elf. The time is now, so it has appeared now. And, but it's, 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 it's typical, it's a sick day. Uh, I'm here because this is the closest point to the bathroom. I have to sit up most of the time, even when I'm sleeping, I have to sit up, so I just lie back, close my eyes, and uh, fall asleep for a few minutes, and uh, that's how things work. I, I got a couple of deliveries today. Uh, I'm still watching some cartoons. I'm fixing up my laundry machine so I can do some laundry. It's, uh, you know, and even if you're by yourself and, and, and you're sick, you have to take care of yourself. And in terms of the physiology, You have to take a look at to see what's, what's coming out of you every, every time you go to the bathroom. And that sort of gives you an indication of, of where maybe to go next in terms of trying to resolve the problem. Uh, so it is definitely food poisoning and it's... Uh, right now I'm on a liquid diet and I'm not, I'm, you're not eating anything salt and so I'm just having a liquid diet. I'm having uh, ginger ale, uh, soups no uh, just this the broth of the soup no nothing in it and iced tea and it seems to be working it's clearing out my system uh, some of the, the physiological problems I had before are starting to resolve themselves but I think it's going to need a little bit more so I'm going to continue on this line excuse me well, belching and farting are, are not a good thing in terms of the uh, etiquette, in terms of how you behave in society. In terms of uh, meta, uh, metabolic uh, metabolism and the mechanism within the metabolism, within metabolism, that's the GI system, belching is a good sign that you're passing the gas, that, the, that your system is functioning. And that's actually what you want, you want to sort of see this. And that was the problem before. I wasn't able to release the gas as I needed to. Uh, and now the new diet that I'm on, uh, the sort of liquid diet, uh, is doing that job. It's, it's releasing the gas that's in there. It's allowing me to pass uh, uh, things through, uh, through my body as liquids, not as necessarily as solids. Uh, and is slowly but surely cleaning the system out. So, I'm going to continue on with the cleanse. That's the, the plan because I am feeling better from the cleanses. And that's multiple of them. Uh, they're not uh, the other type of cleanse. Uh, they're, they're all oral. The other type is apologies for those who have sensitive ears. Because there are two types of cleanses. There is oral and then there's anal. And that's up your butt. And typically those are called colonics. Where you squirt things up to your butt. You clean it out, it comes out as a liquid again, it, it flushes everything out. And it cleans, that's how you clean, cleans your large intestine, your, your small intestine. All, the, all the, intestinal, the intestinal areas that have all the waste, and the waste does build up. Uh, you do, apparent, it, it, you do it, you know, on occasion, uh, need to cleanse the system. It's like everything else needs to be cleaned, the intestines need to be cleaned as well, and well, uh, they said there's only one, two, there are only two ways, oral, and if the oral doesn't work, then you need to do anal. So far, things are working well. I've found the right formulas, the right mixture of things that are, is doing an excellent job at cleaning uh, everything out, and it's oral. So, uh, that's it for now.
Well, it's time to end the vlog for the day. Uh, it's about a uh, quarter, about, uh, it's about 4.30 in the morning on uh, Tuesday the 28th, I think it is. I don't really check the time, the date. I do that now. Yeah, it's the 28th. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's been a long day, but I've been able to maintain, uh, to some degree, my uh, sense of day. I got uh, two loads of laundry done. In fixing up my health, I found that iced tea with milk, or sort of like a milk tea, really helped out the situation. One would think that when, if you're becoming dehydrated, that just simply a glass of water would do the trick. But that's not always the case, because in certain cases with uh, with the with food poisoning, the body rejects almost everything, anything that's put into it, and the body becomes very acidic. So even though you put more water into the system, the water holds on, the, the the system holds on to the water. In other words, you don't urinate it out. You don't you know you don't you don't pee it out, and that cause that causes a problem because that that means your system is becoming dehydrated. What has to happen is you have to go from the all-out mode, where the colon become, doesn't is no longer semi-permeable, but the, now it, it's blocked. You, it, this is the problem with the the all-out experience: uh, is that the the colon, which is supposed to be semi-permeable, and adjusting to the to the no longer becomes. Uh, uh, semi-permeable is now blocked, and so the water doesn't go doesn't go into the body. In other, in other words, in other words, you're not hydrating yourself, and it's just simply pushed out of the body. In certain cases, you could put in too much water and damage your kidneys. But what uh, the iced tea did was uh, with, with the with, with the uh, whole milk in there, it's sort of like 50-50. It really resolved the problem. So for me, that was a good solution, but it's taken, uh, I think since last week, it's taken most of the day, and I really haven't been able to sleep lying down. So that's going to be the test next, to see what happens over the next few hours. I still have an hour left to go before the uh, before the laundry finish of the, finishes drying. Now I just let it air dry from there on out. But, all in all, it's been a good day. No YouTube vlog, no YouTube stroll today. Uh, no editing. You know, I'll try that tomorrow. I'll try editing tomorrow. See how that goes. So if I, and then, because if I don't do that, then I'm going to have a problem with content backing up on the device. If I run out of room, then I'm going to have a hard time uh, editing it. But uh, tomorrow means tomorrow I have to do the graphics and I have to start doing... Uh, getting back on track with editing and then uploading, but that will come as you know as as days go by, as as, as the time goes by. I'll pick up my base again. I'll get more of the work done, and we'll be back on track for uh, for vlogging in terms of the daily vlogging. The daily vlogging is being done. It's just the rate that it uploads at. Sometimes you're not going to get a vlog every single day in terms of. Uh, being posted, but it's being filmed every day. It's just that something's happened, like me being sick. That's the food poisoning. That was will delay the issue. However long I'm sick for, will delay the vlog by that number of days. And then you would think that, and I know it started off in, in the with the day in terms of the you are you are you know you are worth the thing. What's the worth or not? I'm down or not? And yeah, you are down because uh, you, you, you're working at a handicapped rate. You're, you're working at a, a a rate that's not what you used to, and so you're going into it. You're pessimistic with the, with a view of well, I'm not going to succeed today. But in terms of no free funds, it doesn't matter whether you succeed. It just do what you can and keep going. 
when you need to stop, stop. And then from then on in, go back and get, try again. Well, the thing of, uh, of no refunds is that you take the attitude, doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not, whether you succeed or fail. You keep on. You keep on doing what you need to do in order to move forward. Even if it's by tiny, tiny increments. It will eventually sum up and you'll get to where you're going.